back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel it's your girl Brit Nicole if you guys didn't know I moved to New York a few months ago actually I'm lying it's been a month and I've been MIA I thought I was gonna have enough time to film videos but clearly I didn't so I'm here to explain everything on why I'm to New York, how I moved to New York, what I've been up to, and everything. So before I get into it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media and comment down below what videos you guys want me to post. Let's get to it. If you guys didn't see my previous videos where I posted my apartment tour and my back to school haul, go ahead and click the link in my bio. I'm sounding really unsure right now because I'm not smart at the moment. Ah! Okay. Let's get it. So basically, I moved because New York has always been a city I wanted to live in. I knew that since I was in high school. At first, I wanted to move down south somewhere, which is why I applied to all colleges out of state. Like, I applied to a lot of schools down south and only one school in New York. And the school, the only school I didn't get into was the school in New York. So you know how pissed I was? I was like, okay, wow. So I'm good enough for all these HBCUs, but I'm not good enough for St. John's whatever i didn't want to go there anyways i thought i knew what major i wanted to be in i thought i knew what i wanted to do with my life and i didn't so i ended up going to a community college in san francisco that's when i realized like what i wanted to do my mom gave me the option to go down south for two years and then transfer to a school in new york but i was like you know what that costs a lot of money and i'm not with that so city college in san francisco is free for residents so i ended up moving to the city to have a city address for a year so for the second year of city i moved back home and to save money so i can move here so i stayed here for actually was it even a whole year i think it was like a semester that i stayed here or that i moved back home but anyways, I saved a lot of money, and, or my parents saved a lot of money, but we ended up coming here. Aside from just wanting to like get away from the house and get away from everyone, I really wanted to start over. You guys really didn't know me. I didn't really give you guys a chance to know who I am because I was really just confined and I was really to myself a lot. Once I moved here, I didn't know my old self. Like I posted on Instagram that this is my alter ego acting up. Like I've been doing stuff that I wouldn't usually do, that Brit back home wouldn't do. Like I feel like I'm a little bit more social than I was. Like I met one girl on the first day of school and we've been talking ever since. Like, like who would have thought that I would make a friend so fast <laughs> like honestly I'm not the type to make friends really quick I'm really out of my comfort zone and no one's here to baby me anymore no one's here to hold my hand like I'm really doing this on my own so it's it's scary but it's doable in my last video I did mention that I am going to John Jay College for criminal justice and I am a criminal justice major I am planning on minoring in law but I'm gonna do that later when I have to take my elective courses and I really have to be on top of my game because if I slip up on my grades one semester like I'm going back home like my mom is not playing with me so it's gonna be hard because I was really BSing it when I was in City College in San Francisco because it was free so I was like okay like I don't really need to take this serious but I shouldn't have been thinking that way because I wasn't taking advantage of the stuff that I could have had at a free city college like I was paying $60 a semester I was just lollygagging the whole time like I was not taking anything seriously but I mean I did enough to get into John Jay so Thank you. Thank you. Peace. I'm out. I'm here all week. So I don't know how much I said in my apartment tour, but I'm going to give you guys the whole background of it. So basically, my parents pay for this apartment. A lot of you guys were asking how do I afford this. I'm only 19 or I was only 19 years old at the time. How could a 19 year old afford all this? So my parents are paying for it. I don't care if you guys call me spoiled. I'm not here to brag. I'm not here to gloat. I'm not here to do anything. You guys ask me who pays for it. I'm letting you guys know. My parents pay for this like I'm lucky enough to have parents who are fortunate and who work really hard to support me and my siblings so thank you shout out to them and finding a place was actually not that hard because okay so I had a budget I don't really feel comfortable saying the budget because it's, it's up there it's a little up there and I know a lot of people have lower budgets which is perfectly fine because not everyone can afford a high-rise apartment in midtown Manhattan last year I came to New York I seen one apartment that was on the Upper West Side and I was like oh wow this is the apartment I want to move to like this is what I want I already know it had a washer and dryer inside it had a really nice gym it had a sauna and I was telling my mom I was like mom I don't even want to look at any more apartments like that's the one and it was really close to my school but then I came back in spring break no I'm lying I came back in winter and I was looking at more apartments and I was like uh these aren't 
like the ones I want to look at but at this time I was looking at lofts I wasn't looking at like high rises at all I was looking at lofts so I looked at a loft on Fifth Ave and I looked at one by Central Park and they were nice but I wouldn't move there but of course I wasn't being picky I just wanted to be in New York so I was like okay like this is cool but then again I was like uh, I don't really want to move there looking back at it and I came back here again in spring break and this time my parents came with me the other times I wasn't with my parents this time during spring break we went to a place in Chelsea and then we went to one I guess by the Hudson I mean it's definitely by the Hudson but it's not the Hudson Piers and it's not Chelsea Piers I don't know I'm still new here I don't really know everything but yeah so I looked at about seven or eight apartments and including the one that i'm living in and one next door to me and i was like okay this one that i'm in right now like it feels different like i didn't have this feeling before i really enjoyed it like i have floor to ceiling windows i have an indoor washer and dryer i have a terrace a lot of study rooms upstairs they have a gym a basketball court a pool and I was like, hey, you know what, this is definitely the one that I want to get. So that's how I got the apartment and how I'm paying for the apartment. And if you guys didn't know, I did go to the New York Film Academy, aka NYFA. And I did the four-week filmmaking program. It was interesting. So if you guys don't want to hear about NYFA, then please skip ahead. I put the mark in the description below. But I'm going to talk about NYFA. I mean, I just wish that there was more time spent outside of class. So how your schedule is for the four weeks, like everyone has the same four weeks. Like even if you're in the eight week program, you're doing the same stuff as the four weeks, but you aren't in the same classes. So my class only had 11 or 10 people in it because that's how many people were doing the four week program each week you get into different groups the teacher assigns you to a different group and you're gonna make three films was it three films that we made three or four films i completely forgot i don't know how i forgot but so the first film i don't want to say what films they were because i don't know if they're going to be changing it each workshop we had class from 9 a.m to 6 30 p.m and we only had a 30 minute lunch which was okay like we didn't really need that much time for lunch but we also didn't need that much time in a class. So we spent like three, almost sometimes four hours in a classroom or three and a half hours. It really depends. A lot of the stuff that we learned could have been taught in about an hour, an hour and a half to two hours. So around like an hour to two hours. We didn't really need three camera classes, four lighting classes, four screenwriting classes or three screenwriting classes because we didn't have any dialogue. For the first four weeks of your films, you don't use dialogue at all. So screenwriting was really, really useless. Learning how to do lighting, I mean, it was helpful, but we didn't need that many classes on it. You could have made one class four hours long. You didn't need to have four classes that were two to four hours long or three to four hours long. Like, that was unnecessary. And then the thing that really sucked was that on the weekend, so say that there's four people in your group, two person, two person, what? I need to go back to school. Two people film their scenes on Saturday. Two people do their scenes on Sunday. Each person has four hours to shoot. First person starts at nine, ends at one. The second person starts at two, ends at six. Same thing for Sunday. So you can either do everything on like one day or have three people go on one day and then one person goes the next day or whatever you guys choose, which who's gonna, who's gonna film on what day. But it was really unnecessary. Like we could have had like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Each person shoots on one day. There was just so much class time that wasn't needed. I don't know. I think the only necessary classes that we need was a director's class, which was when we would like screen and critique our films at the end of each week. We would talk about what our next project is. I think that class really could have been an hour, but we spent like two three hours in that classroom as well. Like there was a lot of classes that we didn't really need. I don't know how much the full tuition cost because I did get a discount. So I spent like 3,000 for four weeks and almost 4,000, I'm just gonna round it up to 4,000. So that's me spending a thousand a week for what? I honestly feel like I did waste money because it wasn't really helpful to me. I think you go to NYFA to get connections and I think it's better if you actually go into a program instead of a workshop, like don't do a four week to eight week program, definitely try to get a certificate from there and like actually graduate. Cause I feel like that's how you'll actually get exposure and you'll get more connections and you'll actually work hands-on like we use cannons we didn't have like a little monitor or anything we use cannons it just wasn't what i expected 
that's all I'm gonna say on that. It wasn't what I expected. I don't regret doing it because I did meet really cool people. I wish they got to the points more faster and I wish we got to develop more ideas because we basically had four days to articulate an idea. Basically like on Fridays, we would have to have a script, a floor plan, a storyboard, and a shot list. So we would need those four things by Friday and then we would have to present it to our teacher in our little group. And then Saturday, Sunday, you just go shoot. Like we had four days to articulate everything. So it was hard. It was really, really hard. And on top of that, you had to go scout out locations on your own or with like a friend or whatever. So a lot of people, it was hard to find locations. Most, a lot of people stayed like around the school area since that was really close. It just wasn't what I expected. Now onto meeting new people. Meeting people is kind of hard in New York, especially if you don't do anything. I feel like if I didn't go to NYFA, I wouldn't have met the people that I did. It's not like I hang out with them every day, but we do talk, we do communicate, we follow each other on social media. Like I said, I don't regret going to NYFA, but I do. But Meeting people, it's hard. I did meet someone that I'm not gonna get into now. If you guys know, like my past relationship, yeah, past relationship, it's past tense. Um, we're not together anymore. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Yeah, I met someone, like it's, it's cool or whatever. I don't know what else I'm gonna say on meeting new people, but if you don't have a job, I think it will be harder to meet someone or if you're not going to school, like if you're just moving here, you really need to be going to a coffee shop and seeing if someone is there every day and just start talking to them because it'll, it'll get hard. It's not inevitable. So I just wanna end off with this. Like the main thing I love about New York is that there's literally always something to do. I've been so happy ever since I moved here. I don't think I would be like this if I stayed home in California and San Francisco. Like I, I'm just really happy. I seen Chance the Rapper the other day for free. Shiggy came out and the baby came out. There's free kayaking every Tuesday through Thursday from 5.30 to 7.30 if you guys are, if you guys live in New York, Please go to Chelsea Piers, um, Pier 25, from 5.30 to 7. There's free kayaking, and it's up until, like, mid-November. It's up until mid-September, I think. It's sometime in September. It's so fun. Like, I never thought I would be kayaking in the Hudson River. And there's, like, free concerts you can go to. There's Shakespeare in the park. It's so beautiful out here. I really love it. And I'm really excited that I moved here. And I just want to say, like, if you guys are going out to college, or if you guys are moving, if you guys want to move to New York, I would say, do it because this has been the best experience of my life and I've only been here a month and some change I haven't even hit my two months mark yet it's just it's just really exciting and I'm excited for school to start but I do want to say this there are a lot of people that I know who moved out of state for college or who moved to an out of city college and moved back home because they thought they couldn't do it. Now, I'm not saying that moving out is for everyone, but if you think you can do it, if you think you can handle it, if you think you can handle being scared sometimes and very paranoid, then I would say do it because I'm a very paranoid and cautious person, but I love it out here. It just fits me so well. So that's all that I have to say on New York. This is my whole update. I hope I informed you guys a lot and I hope that you guys get where I've been coming from. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will be making some college vlogs. Let me know what you guys want to see from that. And yeah, follow me on my socials and I will see you guys the next time I post. Peace.